Fingal Head, northern New South Wales. This small beachside community has a permanent population of just 600. But in the summer months, the numbers swell as tourists fill the caravan parks. Its surf beach is patrolled by lifesavers. But this isn't the beach that many locals and tourists are visiting. Less than 800 metres to the south, and on the other side of the headland, is Dreamtime Beach. This stretch of coastline is unpatrolled by lifesavers or lifeguards at its northern tip and is considered a highly dangerous location, notorious for rip currents. But every summer, tourists and locals take to its unpredictable waters. It's a high stakes gamble that has led to many near drownings and sadly, some fatalities. Good Friday, March 25th, 2016. Dreamtime Beach was busy as people took to the surf to enjoy the long weekend. Seven-year-old Rihanna is playing in shallow water while her mum watches on. Without warning, a large set of waves sweeps Rihanna off her feet and into deeper water. Within seconds, she's being pulled away from the beach. It's a flash rip, and Rihanna is firmly in its grip. Her mother races to help. but the pounding waves are relentless, pushing her back towards the beach. Ryan Martin hears the screams and runs into the water, heading straight for Rihanna. Exhausted, Rihanna's mother is barely able to stay afloat. She's beginning to drown. Raymond Williams sprints across the beach to help the mother. Raymond pulls the mum back to the safety of the beach. He saved her life. The rip current is now pulsing, pulling Rihanna further out to sea, each wave blanketing her with water. Ryan Martin was once a volunteer lifesaver, and he's drawing on all of his water skills to reach Rahana before she disappears from view. When Ryan reaches Rahana, she desperately clings to him. She's consumed with fear, and Ryan knows that he must find a way to calm her down. Alone and increasingly isolated, Ryan is fighting to keep Rihanna afloat and safe. But the heavy effort is taking its toll. He's becoming exhausted. More help is coming. Luke Robinson has raced down from the headland and starts the long swim out to Ryan and Rihanna. When he reaches the pair, he urges Ryan to head back to shore, but Ryan refuses to leave the young girl. Together, Luke and Ryan work to keep Rihanna afloat, taking turns to support her weight. Levi, a local surfer, is now in the water and frantically paddling towards them. Ryan is so fatigued that he can barely keep himself afloat, but he continues to support Rihanna. Yet another surge of water rolls over the top of them, pushing Ryan beneath the surface. When the water clears, Ryan is gone. When Levi arrives, he can see only two people in the water, and his surfboard becomes their life raft. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Rihanna and Luke are now semi-conscious, swallowing water, almost unable to hold onto the board. In the distance, Levi can see a rescue boat racing towards them from Fingal Head Surf Lifesaving Club. Among the crew 
is Steve Kudzius. The vision that I saw is something that you would never want to create ever again. It all unfolded. A sense of silence came over. The crashing waves seemed like they stopped. The lifeless, or semi-lifeless people in the water, the, the look of distress on people's faces is absolutely gut-wrenching. Luke and the young girl didn't have a lot of time left. But once they fell unconscious, I knew it was a race against the clock to be able to save their lives. When I got them to the beach, they started to, to vomit and, and show signs of life again. At that point, members of the public assisted and um, they survived. I returned immediately to find Levi had found Ryan and was holding on to Ryan as the best he could. So I picked up Ryan and returned him to shore and did all I could to revive him. But we weren't successful. <laughs>